responses, and then we'll be ready for Q&A. Yeah, this time it works. Okay, thank you, Bob, for that. Learning sponsorship. So year of learning, Bella and David Adler, we have her father, Eliyahu Ben Yosef HaKohen. Those who inspired by our Rebbe in America, she was the hero. Mary asked the Malka, but Nesom Yosefa. They are Mercy Kaplan and many of their parents. Mr. Slink, Shabbat Yosef Chaim, but Chava, Hanan Ben Moshe Eliezer, but Chaim. Hesha, but Shmuel Yitzchak Halevi, but Shikola. Isha, Ben Yoel Moshe, but Chaim, but Chaim. Rex, but Chaim, but Gladys Sherman, but the Bat Mayor. Michael Klein, but Chaim, but Judith Klein, but Judith Schuh, Ben Chaim. Marcia Glonner, many of her husbands, Harav Yachmiel ben Shmuel, friends and family of Arthur Litholz, Mordechai Rubin ben Baruch HaKohen, friends and family of Sidi Dessler, Shalom Shraga ben Dov, friends of Marvin Weinstein, Mordechai Ozer, Sarah Affleck, and many of her husbands, Rav Shri Lippa ben Hillel, Rex, friends of Nadi Fedman, and Mendel, Mingo, Miriam Bas Kalman Riva. A month of learning by Mayor and Shah Rebin, Ryan Golda Brevin, and many of Mayor and Michael Clark, Asher Zeli Ben Moshe, and their mother Leila Bat Ellie Miller. At Sid Paris, in memory of his father, Chaim Alan Cohen, and his mother Yehuda Shriva. A week of learning by Susan Fuchter Kramer and Shelley Kramer, in memory of her mother, Leila Bat Yeshaya, Shavala Bessler, in memory of her mother-in-law, Rachel Bat Shalom, by Rabbi Tzvi and Robin Kartel, in memory of his mother, Malka Bat Mordechai, and her mother, Chaya Erdel Bat Mordechai. And today, oh, we have a day of learning by Zina and Jack Payson, in memory of her father, Yeshua Harakesh Ben Yitzchak Meir. And the church does not say that. That's Shabbat. Somebody's having a little thing that feels like you should have said this before or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are at the bottom of the Gumal on the day. We have to move. A question is still like that with Chicago. A question says that once a person even thinks that he's going to misappropriate the deposit that he is going, Okay, so what the fuck? And Rashi says here, thinking means that you said it in front of it. Sure, how can you sure it differently? And Shamra, in that case, where you just expressed the thought that you were going to take it, I, you're already just from expressing the thought, you're already obligated on an accident on an on accident. Okay, see? So they still are only ain't high. They still come out odd. You actually have to put your hand on it. You have to take it. And that, as it says, the Pasuk says that you must show up together and not be able to. Little kid, say what? That he did not. Take he, he didn't put his hand on it, so he's still he's still working until he actually takes it. He doesn't he's not a thief who has to pay for it. He does a chabdis. Okay, the minute the minute is it? Okay, let's say a person just took the barrel without picking up and pulled out a levias of wine. I say to himself, the mishpah, and then it broke open. And then Mishal and the levias, he only has to pay for the levias, so he stole. So he doesn't have to pay for the whole barrel because he didn't steal. He didn't pick it up to make an acquisition to be obligated for um, for for an accident. Let's say he picked it up and then he took a review, the Mishra, and it was broken. The Shalom is clear that he has to pay for it. Why is that? Because once he, uh, once he, made, a, because he made an acquisition uh, of Kriya's Yad, and once he made an acquisition of Kriya's Yad, um, but here we're not talking about, here we're not talking about that he actually took it, but once he picked it up in order to pay for the review, that's enough to obligate him. We're going to say. Uh, the way we say we say in the Chizik and the So now to me, how do we know uh, that, that you can work with the Chizik and the Shalmai that you can, in the, in the basis of just speaking out, just saying that you're going to take it, according to Rashi, that you already have to pay back for it, and the Chizik will you back. The Tana Bar, you have to look at Isa, this argument. I told you I wrote that one person said that for every Zavad Pesha. So after it says Kriya Shal, the day I'm doing my Kachim, it takes me and it says that whole Zavad Pesha. So really, if we treat it as the same thing for uh, any matter of of, uh, of, of papers, of the same uh, 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 u
got to Kamara and you have to go like speaking. You have to walk like speaking alone, you're already obligated. So Shaman, so the Shaman says, well, I can't. And I'm a chick, I love a You see what? Kamara says, just in the thought of thinking it, once you say, I think the Rashi wants to accept the special thought. And Debo, I kind of wear this, it's okay, that's already like, it's 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 already and it's here, and it's here. But go in the, and it's high about you, stuff like that. And the girl says, no, so he actually takes it, he's not, he thinks he's not obligated in that sort. And then he says, when you go to the other one, that's because the other person says to him, it's like, he's thinking, if you didn't, if you didn't put out his hand on a, on a friend's thing, he has to actually take it. A mile that happened with Shaman Rabbi, because the Shaman says, well, yeah, by the way, because I'm not, 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 Use the word, the language of speech. You know, I think that's a speech. I mean, before, but so it goes back to the Shaman. He says, the Shaman, I look for an enemy near Shalak. He says, he put out his hand. Okay? He came, I found the Loma, I told you about that. So why would he say, he put out his hand? Oh, and Amy Ella, so this is the other point. The point to us, what is the Bata Hashem? That is, if we say, in the Basila, how does the Basila explain the language of the Shaman to buy with Hebrew words? Look, because it's the bar concept of the Jewish religion, it reads the second divide from it. It isn't. The Yoruk in Ravuli, I think that when the Jew, when the when the when the Watchman says misappropriated, so that's what that's what he did. That's what he said. I said, "I'm a other chick." He told his slave, okay, or he told his, or he told his um, uh, his agent, "Go do it." You know, I don't know who's else obligated. What do you mean? You should be thinking somebody out because you have look. I'm smoking with all day. You can't have a proxy to do a sin to steal. Now, I'm a Roma. I told my pastor. What do you mean? He said, "Yeah, I told my pastor that the extra word for our pastor, even when even when you tell somebody else to do it, not not just speaking on each other. When you tell somebody else to do it, they're going to do it credit like like you know. There's a lot more that the business that here was saying that as opposed to generally the Torah that you can't have an agent for for a sin and thing you can or not. It's not that. It's not. He, he, it's all negligence to tell somebody to do it. So I'm saying, it's not that they have, a, they have a new rule in the Torah that here we have agency to sin. No. Well, you tell somebody to do it. You're negligent. So you have to take care of it. Okay. He says the Chavis. That's what he said. If a person really tipped the barrel and tipped the arrow, he was in a situation to do this. I'm a rabbi, so I'm saying, no, show me. Okay, when is it well from the, 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 the when is it he's not obligated for everything? Okay, at a Mishnah. That's what we want. If, if, if it just broke, he was he wasn't obligated for the accidental destruction of the whole barrel because he always told her to do this and he didn't pick it up to acquire it. I will have read some. But what if the barrel went sour because the wine is sour and the barrel is clear? That's the way it's my time. Here you did it, Donald. It was his actions, it was the strength of what he did that caused it to go sour because you know. That everybody knows that when you that when you, if you want something not to spoil, you don't need empty spaces. You know, see, so taking that even and drawing the, the uh, drawing one the Venus caused the rest of the barrel to go sour. So, so, so you're right, you're right, and you're right. He's still not a thief in the other part. But what is it? He's a mavid. He's like any other. He's like any other. You're right. It's a different. It's a. It's it's by dint of a whole different law. We're not in the chapter. Of, uh, we're not in the chapter of theft over here. It's not that when he took out the Venus, he stole the rest. He didn't steal the rest. He damaged the rest. That's the thing. Okay. Um, he, he did it up in manner. Okay, but we said that if he picks it up and then he takes it, takes the Venus. Um, Shmuel, Shmuel says what? Well, not so much of it. He doesn't actually have to take the Venus. Once he did, okay, 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 he should be off. He told once he took it up, he picked it up, intending to take the Venus. I will give you a not even in the even in the next case, I want to say, what's this an argument? Have we argued in the past that the shlichus here of misappropriation demands the actual taking of the stuff? Then it comes over Shmuel shlichus and the shlichus. Okay, so I'm sure I think Shmuel is in the opinion that that, that you don't have to that you don't have to actually to, to be high for misappropriation. I mean, what you have to actually you know be valued. I mean, what? No, it's quite possible that Shmuel, even though he holds what that you do have to take away value in order to be higher for for misappropriation, but here you don't have to. Why? Johnny Yaka, why? The Mika lady did the heavy on Chavis Kula Bus and Friday here. So this guy here wants to steal his ears. But one day, it's like he picks it up to take his ears, but maybe putting back the ears, but so it should be gone. Because remember, a full barrel is better than, 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 a, than a barrel that's partially full. So he wants the whole barrel to take care of his, of, of his, 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 of his,
So there are a lot of things that you hold that you do need a law, such so things you still call it in this case. Why? Because he took it. Because it would be, be, uh, uh, and, but ironically, why is he responsible for the answer to battle? Because he borrowed it. He borrowed it. You understand? He's, he's a borrower in effect. He stole it. He just put it back to borrow the rest of the battle to, 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 to watch it with him. So as, as a borrower, a borrower is also obligated for, okay, these are agency laws. Why do Ravashi? Ravashi says, okay, if, if you hold it, again, in a synagogue, he said that you hold it, what, that you, that you have to devalue it, to be obligated for its appropriation. You gave me a special, you, know, you gave me a special case here, special theory of relativity when it came to the law. Really, you, you cheated me. That's not the really case. He was also really obligated. You did it all case, you just borrowed your stuff. No, a smart guy, let me ask you this question. So let's take the same thing, let's say it's like, he did a knock, or article. You picked up a purse, you understand, with, 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 with money, and you thought about it, and the person who's watching you wants to take out one, one of the coins, one dinner. Ma, what's it worth? Okay, but it's right here. Buy wine, since wine means wine to watch it. Okay, so they can borrow the rest of the wine. I will use the minta. Well, okay, okay, but, but, but what do you mean? I don't need, I don't need the rest of the, uh, the rest of the purse in order to grab my one drink that I, that I think I'm going to stop. I will give one out. Shot me, too. So they're not going to treat me the way. He, uh, he says, why? He says, he says, what? He says, there's a difference when your one drink is being watched by the purse, okay, uh, 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 and more than watching one drink by one. And therefore, what he's using the whole the whole purse, and therefore he's still he's still again just like he said by the wine, he's going to be obligated for accident to the purse. Why? Because he borrowed it. You don't know. He has to take it. He said, "Let me carry it around." Why did Rabbi Rabbi? Okay, now we're coming to him. Many probably there are many um, many Jewish uh, you know men and women who uh, who, uh, who uh, take FDAs. Many many write their uh, um, pieces on this stuff. But it's the most overused chapter in the, in the whole Judaism. It's like the young, uh, young uh, professionals who write their papers. And, and it is one of the most exciting, wonderful chapters. Uh, the, the, the incredibly simple thing, but, but uh, then we have to get into interest and stuff. But here, we have a simple thing. We know that there's such a thing as buying and selling. Okay? And we know that in order to buy anything, you need to have a cutoff point. There's no way that there's no way that you, you can sell something without a cutoff point. Yes, and that's what's quite a gift about the buying and selling. Now, quite a gift. A premium, a premium is the, is the option of selling this over. You, you gave it, you, you, you sold it, so to speak, and you acquired it, it's done, and there's no, there's no going back. And when you want to go back, it's in the agreement. That's called a premium. We know, and we have various premium that we lend the use of already, we lend the whole list of premium we can use already. But we're not only necessary to review for one point. Money is, 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 is a thing that is a cash and cash. We know money is a big thing in general, right? We know money buys things, so there is no cash cash. But when it comes to buying matter or material things, uh, we know we know a secure money does not buy itself. In other words, you, even if you pay the money, it, it, it means it feels like money, and it means to you another thing, everybody can everybody can do the money. The money doesn't pay itself. So we have later a chapter there, a third chapter there, where we all know that it goes up, but it does it doesn't not go up. This is on the this is the is going to require a money is it good and is it safe for food for for money is it for is it for is it for in, 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 or is it not even from the total money that they have but that doesn't matter to us what, what we care about now as simple is one thing we know it's a good when money does not acquire does not pay to be for uh, for money it, it, it doesn't matter now that leaves us with a doubt about itself because because we know that deals what deals do pay is so if I have money and that the coin will make the most of it matter. So we're gonna have a simple rule and that is what? That what when one person trades money for a commodity, if, if, he, if the person acquires the money and we know that the deal is not fair, then every all, all bets can be off. All, all bets can be off. Or, 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 or bets can be off. But when a person acquires the the commodity, the deal's paid and the person owes him the money. Okay, there, there, there's no there's no way out. But sometimes we have the problem of identifying what is money. And when I was younger, when I was more active, you know, it's not the same as everybody. Everybody writes all the all the they, all these super guys are writing their doctoral pieces on what they think money is really money. It was money at all. <laughs> it was very restricted. Tell me what it wasn't money. It was not legal. It was not legal. So I had a lot of uh, stuff in my life. I definitely want to get to this. Anyway, that was the that was the uh, all the smart young guys were all 
was an only choice. Anyway, so we have a problem because when you have this, I have now because I know that many does teach the story of the Jews and 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 the prior dramatic events. But sometimes I have to decide what is the man and what is the command. And for the moment, we're going to look at two possible definitions of man. Okay, one definition of man is that it had slaves to it, and that's what, that's the reason why they use the words. Yeah, in the marketplace, this is what people use. They say they go by it. They use butt, they use bottles, they use clamshell. Oh, what 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 Money, money, it's not like a, how much is a dollar worth, how much is a you know, If it's money, it's worth what it is. One dollar, if, if money, if a dollar were money, a dollar is worth a dollar. How much is two dollars worth? Two dollars. And so, what, and everything else changes price. In other words, gold rises and falls against the dollar. In other words, gold changes prices, but dollars don't change prices. The problem is, the problem is, you know, silver changes its price, but dollars never change price. And so, you know what money is? Money is this. Money is always the same. Money doesn't change its value. Everything else changes value vis-a-vis money. When I was, when I came to OCC, I was just like, tell you this. I, 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 when, when uh, Arab, when they, if you hired an Arab, they would ask how many loaves of bread they went through with you. Well, first of all, they didn't know the answer was going to be. Can you hear? Because they shouldn't say it. If you they come home, they come home, and they say, no, bread was a stable, stable, bread was a stable, 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 stable,
And crafting the goal is a far interest of it. I know it is. It's at least like the parents. At the very least, you have to respect those of them. You get it close. Guess what? And the parents as well. The silver does not acquire gold. Money is not. The silver is money. And as we get gold, and it doesn't play to be. And the Hoshis, when it comes to what is an interesting enough that the deal between copper, Kona S as the Kona, also copper acquires silver because copper is more conventional than the silver. And guess what? Okay, in the Kona S and the Hoshis, the silver does not acquire copper because silver, we believe, copper is money. Mons are rose. Okay, we're going to read this. There's an amount of that he's saying, but we'll read like that. Okay. Money that was cast in the Elohim, okay, that's in the, 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 has not, not, not to be stolen, okay. The Kona is going to that. Okay, therefore, bad money acquires poor money. Why? Because bad money is, is, is merchandise, and poor money is money. And he also is going to say that I love it. The good money doesn't acquire the cancer money because good money is money, and money doesn't play the deal. I see Mom, which when I was a kid, it's called the slug. It looks just like the coin, but it's not, uh, but it's not slug. Okay. Yeah, that's right, right, right. Kona S and Mazur. So a slug will acquire a true Kona S because a slug is merchandise in the form of a coin. That is money. But Mazur in the Kona S, I see no, I see no. So the coin, which is money, does not acquire, a, which does not play to deal on the slug because, because money doesn't play deals on movables. The copper in Kona S and Mazur, I know it's a movable acquire the coin, and that is for the, for the seller. Madea, okay, in the corner of the Kaplan, but the coin doesn't acquire the movable. Now, the, 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 whether we should say that follows the argument, we will read it in, but that's not his rule, it's something that they mind that. Following the Kaplan in Kona Zoya, all, all movables, all movables uh, acquire the, uh, a, a, a true slug. Yeah. Uh, what we're talking about here is always the, 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 the word call is going to see how it's going to be, even of course, even of course, a coin begins to play to the deal. Okay, case up. Okay, now let's go back and explain what we said originally. Masha came in and said, "Yes." So the person took produce. The person he, he took wheat. Okay, and then Mas came from Mars. The person took wheat but hadn't told the buyer. Took wheat. The buyer took that person. He was the buyer. I'll be a buyer, but he didn't give the other guy the money. Okay, he can't back out on the deal. Why? Because acquiring the merchandise. Okay, acquiring the merchandise closes the deal. He can't back out. Not so the malice, okay, but let's say the buyer gave the seller of the wheat, he gave him the money. The muscle came in, but he took the produce, he didn't take the produce from him. Yachal, okay, Yachal, like that, at least according to the bottom line of the law, they can both go, okay, they can both go. Our almost, however, the rabbi said that too. The rabbi said, Misa Tom, and after he said, I'm a mother, a god who, who, who took recompense from the generation of the slaughter, from the generation that was split up with the power of this. And Boba, the rest of you told me, said, I know you did that. Okay, so also he's going to, he's going to get the recompense uh, from any person who doesn't stand by their word. You know, even, though, even though you're right, you're legally, you could have backed out, a person will, will have to pay recompense on that. And instead, the person will take recompense of the person who didn't keep the word. The shield, okay, he didn't make any deal. And he was so, and that's a guy. So he calls the person the other. He did, once he made money, and I'll tell you, and once it was, and even though you're right, you told me that, if the buyer gave money to the seller, that, that the deal is not close. It's not good. Selling is nothing doing. Like, you have to get back. Uh, I have the money. I'm never going to be happy. And you're right. Okay, you said you're right. The buyer can't The buyer can't help. But the seller, now the, the, the buyer who got the money can never help. Oh, but the seller can back out because he has the money. But the buyer can Okay. Masi Rabbi Shem Bray. The Rebbe who was the, the Rabbi, also the Rabbi, died. He taught Rabbi Shem and his son. He says, he says, has it all correct with us? He says, the correct language, there really there are two, there are two ways to learn the Mishnah. One is that, like, uh, that, like, uh, like, our, like, like, like the text of our Mishnah, that, that gold acquires silver. Okay, there's another version that says, what? That silver acquires gold. That would be reversed. That the, 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 the silver is the, is the merchandise, and gold is the, and gold is the, the money. He says, he says, okay, so he taught about both kinds of stuff. So he taught what? That silver is the money, okay, and the gold is the produce. Um, the gold is the money. Amar Lo, the Rebbe, he says, he said to him, he says, Rabbi, he said to his father, said, which is a big deal why he said this guy to Rebbe, when he said, Rebbe, you're a Greek boy, he says, you taught us when you were young, you taught us the Mishnah, you're right, you taught us the Torah as well. You taught us that silver acquires gold, and the gold is the money. 
the positive of like this one is that you get one of the two steps up. Now, in your old, you're turning around and teach it the other way. And the Torah professor is always a golden guy with children and children from them. So he never just says yes or no. The idea of him is we know that we know that we are here. We know why did he? He always say my time, my time, my time. What Svara did he hold with Kriyat, where he was young and he started off? And he said, go with me. It was teach him a Torah. What was it that when he was young and he was old, we thought to him, we thought to have that Seder with him. Yet, and this is like where, in the, in the Mizrami thought, the Hama, he said, what gold, the Pasha, they say, which is more valuable, having Seder. So he's not talking about Kriyat and Mizrami. And Pascha, you know, Pascha, the, 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 the silver, which is not as valuable as gold, every few years, that mission that goes on the more and the value, and that one for Pascha. So he thought that that mission value is what makes it more special. Gold is not as special. But still, in Kriya, the mission is that the simple things that are always required, we are always required. We want to talk with Pascha. So he brings us up to Pascha. Silver, which is silver, and so it works more than gold. Having silver, it's a little bit of silver. That is what, that's what it's meant. Okay, the hard of the fire, but it's cold, which is not silver, but steel. So that is the commodity. And then it's silver, it's a commission, a commodity, and the merchandise acquires the quality of the silver. And as a result, when we ask about silver, so now we want to be built on the silver. Amar Rashi, okay, we are do say in the first year of Yisrael Sam. Now Rashi said that the Rebbe thought when he was young that the gold was much more special. So that's what he told the Amar is not, and not as good. And that's what really hit him when the Rebbe knew that he was young. And the Rebbe said, 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 to continue the tradition that shows you that we really need to the said a silver Akashor. The continuation shows you to go down to the book silver Akashor, i.e., silver is a special price, gold is not. I mean, if I come to Akashor, if you told me, 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 the way you and you told me, that's how I got here, you just said to tell me that copper acquires silver. In other words, silver is money, and copper is the now, you almost say Shlomo. I do, I do open the mission saying the way I, I say it to be, which is that silver acquires gold, that silver is, is, is merchandise, and gold is money. Possibly the Abbey, okay, so then what? Well, if you say, well, how can I go back to the Abbey? You can say, well, the silver is a commodity that we need gold. Gold is abundant. I understand. Seems in the opening line you told me that silver is merchandise. I was a Fafani, a Pesach, a Pesach, a Pesach. That's what we need for the continuation of the mission is to tell me that copper coins acquire silver. What? Why? To tell me to what they thought that silver turned out, turned the same coin out, the merchandise, the money. The Afro, Peter, the Gabri, the Hava, Peter, the Hava, you know, the open line told me that silver coins, piece of the gold, was, was what? Was money, okay? Like, uh, 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 Probably, probably. Even, even you told me from the opening that silver, piece of the gold, was was the merchandise. But I'm going to call you still, but you had to tell me that it was worth something. Like, change the copper. It's not called. It's not called for money. Uh, you know, so if you say the opening minister is, is like later, and you told me what you told me, that gold acquires silver. You told me that, that silver is what? Silver is money, even piece of the gold, which is more expensive, which is more valuable. Okay. Well, I assume why? Because it's currency. You told me that silver, even though it's so much less valuable than gold, is money because it's current. Then why would you have to tell me by, 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 that it's money by copper? If silver is money vis-a-vis gold that's more valuable, you said that, you said that, it's, that it's money because of its currency. When it comes to copper, which is also more current than copper, it not only is it more current, but it's also more valuable. The buyers any question, it, it's a no-brainer. So, so it doesn't make sense that the Mishnah would have had to tell me that silver was money vis-a-vis vis- 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 copper. It's your Kama says no. It, it, it could be really that the Mishnah opened like our Mishnah. And really, even though I knew that silver was money vis-a-vis gold, I wouldn't have known that silver was money vis-a-vis copper. Why? Because you just made an assumption that silver is, 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 is always what? More current than copper. Because I might have thought like this, there are places where everybody knows where copper is current. Copper is accepted to be old. 
here, if I read the same attack, when I'm at a top there for, okay, it's actually more current, okay? And in my Tuba hobby, I'd say, what? I, I'd say, well, since it's in places where it's more current, I'd say that by definition. Copper is money from my friend, so I say, no, it's only used to dip it where it's aggregated. Since silver works everywhere and copper doesn't work everywhere, since there are places where copper doesn't work, that isn't that then to the hobby. By definition, always, since silver always works and copper doesn't always work, silver always is money, these are the copper, but it could be our Mishnah like Rebbe's older. Okay? The Alpha, the tough case, we didn't prove that we tried to prove that the rest of the Mishnah actually did not succeed. Okay, the Alpha, the Athena Sabu, we tried to prove it, you know, we tried to prove from our Mishnah against the, the opening of our Mishnah, we couldn't do it. Okay? The Alpha, the Athena Sabu, but also the Athena held what? Okay, okay, the Hava came out. Also, the Athena held that Rebbe thought when he was young that what? That gold is the money of these being sold. Why? And how are we going to know? Uh, this one, uh, uh, this one, uh, uh, how are we going to know? Rab, oh, Rab was here. Rab borrowed a uh, uh, gold coin from the Athena's bank. Okay? And so he had to deal. Let's say, well, let's say he, he, he borrowed it. In the end, the value of gold, of gold coins went up, okay? Uh, okay? And they were more than they were worth. The, the gold coins were worth more than they were worth when he borrowed them. After the coming of the he paid that for the Athena. Should he, what should he do? Should he give back the money or not? Is it, or is it going to be, why is he even giving interest? Okay, because he's giving back the product. Now, the truth is that giving the product that you took to, to, to physically from somebody, giving the product, is not interest from the person. Why is that? Let's say I borrow, I borrow uh, a kilo, I borrow a kilo of wheat. And by the time I pay the kilo of wheat back, the price went up. It's nothing. There are two reasons why it's nothing. There's two reasons why it's nothing. One, you, to be interested in the Torah, we have to make a deal at the time of the loan. Okay, I have to say, listen, I'm bo- you're borrowing money, you're going to pay me back, one and a half. That's interest, that's number one. And two, it has to be for sure. Over here, we don't know one, but we can make a deal. Two, who knows if it's going to go up? For sure, for the Torah, there's no problem. You can borrow a kilo of wheat, you can borrow a ton of wheat, and pay back a ton of wheat. There's no problem from the Torah. Okay, rabbinically, the rabbi said, the rabbi said, the rabbi said, one day. Now, he said, listen, I borrowed 25. If I pay back 25, and, and maybe I'm going to be paying interest. And the way she had given me a shimmy to me, she said, look, pay the same quality gold and, 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 and the same amount of coin and the same amount, okay, in the same way, the same, the same, the same quality gold and the same weight that you took. And now, how can we allow him to do it? What's happened? Wasn't he worried about the rabbin, at least rabbinic interest? If you say what the Hava Kedavi, if you say what, like what Rebbe said in his youth, that gold is the coin, okay, no problem, because gold is coin is coin, because I thought you can't, the, the coins don't really, like he said, the coins don't really change the value. 25 gold coins are 25 gold coins are 25 gold coins. But roses are roses are roses. Said the Rebbe said it. Now, if you have a kira hobby, but what is it? If you say, so, you know, but if you say, but if you say what? If you say what? That gold is really, uh, is really merchandise. Now, uh, it's uh, also also then paying back gold coins for gold coins. It's like paying back a kilo of wheat for a kilo of wheat. And it's, and, and, and it's forbidden. Uh, and, he's pay, and, he's, and, he's, and he's paying back uh, rabbinic interest. But from the fact that what? From the fact. Uh, 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 the fact that the Kia allowed him to do it, it must be what? That gold is produce and not money like Rebbe thought it was. And I said, no, you can't prove it from the Rebbe. Yeah, you can't prove it from that. Why? That's a, 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 a carbon, 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 that, carbon that gold is money. Rob, you learn how this is You make a mistake. But you have a halakha. Even when the rabbi said not to pay back a measure for a measure, that was only, since it was only a rabbinic theory, it was very lenient. But for example, let's say if I'm going to borrow, if I'm going to borrow the, the measure in New York, I have, I have the measure ready by the time I get there. Okay. Wait a second. But since it was only for, for a business, the rabbi didn't care. As long as you had it, he didn't give him as much interest. So for example, the king not only did money, okay, said he had Nasa Kama, it's like a, the case of wheat would be, Alveni Ashabodni. He says, Look, lend me this money until my son shows up. Oh, I'll share him to my test. I find the key for the for the store I can do. He says, Roger, he has it on hand. So that case is clear. It, 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 even the rabbi, even though the so therefore it could be really what that gold is, it could be really that gold is not money. And the reason he's allowed to give it because because since he had the money on hand, okay, when he when he borrowed it, so it's like it's like the same thing. And therefore there's no rabbinic between and really gold really gold is what? Is like our Misha says, it's it's the merchandise and it's not the money. Come on, love us. Again, we failed again to prove uh, that it's like Rebbe's view. 
Amara, the high town of Saudi Arabia, is now the city. Like our Vilna Tara, the Pachur holds that gold is the money that's ready for our Okay? Okay? This Tanya that we learned, so, okay, now we're going to learn a list of, a list of monetary exchanges. We'll get to the real punchline in a minute, but I'm not going to get too hung up on the particular, in the particular. This is the truth of the Shamur. When the rabbi gave me a value, and when he said that, you know, on an X and X law, or X and Y law, we have a, we, we can transact with a pita worth, half of the shoulder is in Qatar. That means one eighth, what they call the pita, was one eighth of the Italian, uh, 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 list. Okay? So the eighth would be eight eighth. The monarch could mean a one eighth from now, it could be our maker value. If it's an issue, so you say, what? Well, that's the minimum. According to base zero, we need one pita to marry a woman. Okay? Isa, so you have to know it has to be one eighth. Hi, Isa, what is an Isa itself? Okay, Rafa Nehti Rabi is going to say Kesha. So an Isa was one twenty fourth of the silver Zeno. No matter how familiar with the office, that's the best place to mess that. Uh, 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 I said one twenty four. I said one twenty four. One twenty four. One twenty four. One twenty four. Yeah, yeah. One twenty four uh, of, of, of the silver Zeno. Hi, no matter how familiar. We have to know for what? We have to know for buying and selling that what? Because I have to know what? No, I have to know the rules of cheating. We, we're going to say the rules in the that, that by cheating, uh, we, we, by cheating the rules like this. If you overcharge one sixth, you have to return it. You have to take it to deal zone. If you overcharge more than a sixth, if you cheat by more than a sixth, then it's deal zone. So over here, I have to know, I have to, I have to know, uh, I have to know how much. Yeah, maybe you know if he sold a dealer for more than twenty four pieces, he cheated. You have to know by how much more he cheated to know is the deal so long, is the deal up, etc. Dinas of Kesa, and furthermore, one dina of Kesa, okay, of silver, uh that's one twenty fifth, that's what I give you. And silver a silver dino is one twenty fifth of a gold dino. Now you know a shekel of the Torah, okay, or a, a shekel of the Torah or a shala is four so, so, uh, so, 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 let's say I have to do the, the monarchy, what I have to know. If they're going to then I have to know to pay the coin. So, if they pay the coin, you have to pay the coin five shekels. So, five shekels is five times four uh, dinars is 20. So, if you pay the coin with a dinar of gold, he owes you five dinars of silver. Okay? Now, he, he says, he says, now, now with, with, with that exhibit A, I want to prove to you, I want to prove to you that this Tana holds like Rebbe held when he was young and that the gold is money. We almost push Shlomo, maybe he's only worth Shiva Havi. If you say the gold is really money and it's not commodity, Shire Tana, okay, the new year is right. So the Tana, when he wanted to tell me the value, he wanted to tell me the value of gold, the figure of it in something that has a set value. That's what it's called, set, a set value. Uh, yeah, my fear of it is tell me gold is, is, is produce, is, is, is merchandise. Me, me, shy, if I don't know, you go for the gold. How can you tell me the value? You want to tell me, you want to give me a, uh, you want to tell me a standard for paying for, 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 for paying for giving you some. How can you put it in the standard of, of gold, which is going to go up and down? Zinim the Hale Tana said, if the guy paid, if the guy paid a gold dinar for redeeming his son, sometimes the coins are getting changed. Okay, you're right. He said, the Zinim the Mosi, the Hale Tana. Sometimes you have to get the dinar, you have to add even more. You have to pay more than a gold than a gold dinar. Maybe it maybe went down. Shmakot said, Shmakot said, gold is a fixed value. That's the money. Shmakot said, no, indeed, that Tana held that way. Okay. One, one, one thing to know. So then, awesome. okay, we learned another, another, another Mishnah in Maisa Shani. Meshama and Omri. Now, you know, here, just to make it simple, you know that you, 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 we have to, we have to, a, a, a first and second year and the, and the, uh, and the, and the, uh, and the fourth and fifth year of the seven year cycle, in addition to Maisa Rishon that we give to the lady the first time, she has to take the second time, and it's a good gift. She has to take it for seven years, and then once it's done, it's not that thing. Uh, what, what, and the children, and you take it for ten years. Uh, but a coin has to be a coin, so it has to be given a coin. Now, Kesef, a type of Kesef, where the other gives the money, you have to redeem your money. When you redeem produce of the money, you don't redeem produce of the produce, okay? You're not going to redeem it back on the end. You're not going to redeem the money back on the coin. You're not going to redeem the produce of the coin. You're going to redeem the produce of the money. You're not going to redeem the money of the produce. You always have to have money. So now let's take a look. We're going to see from the laws of how we redeem uh, um, you know, knows how we. I should, I should, I should say, desanctify. You know, say how we desanctify. Uh, you know, the uh, holiness of my sheni. How, what, what is what? 
So he says, we learned the following. Beishamir, we learned in a Mishnah. Beishamir, on Leia, so Adam, Slime, Dinai, Zara. A person who has a silver cellar, okay, you know, he, he, originally, he originally put the, put the produce onto silver coins, okay, of my concern. He, and now that silver, he's got a lot of silver coins. He wants to lighten his load and, and change the silver to gold, okay? He shouldn't change them into gold. He shouldn't change them into gold either, okay? The silver says you're allowed. No? Okay, let's see. We, we don't, what's going on? The Yochan Reish Lakish, there was an argument of the Yochan and Reish Lakish. What was the argument of Beishama and Reish Lakish? Chanama, one of the two rabbis said, the whole argument was simply that he wants to take the silver coins and now and redeem them onto gold coins, okay? The Beishama Sabe, Beishama say what? That you're not allowed to do it. Kasla Tiva, the Odava Pira. Because he holds what? That if the silver is coin, and they hold the gold as produce, the tuba pier of the and, and, and you cannot take a coin and change it onto produce. You have to, you can't redeem it to produce. You have to redeem coin to coin, and not coin to money to money, and not money to produce. They seal the sabre, and it must be the other way. Cast the pier, the house, and if it's a hava sphere, and now he's going to hold what? And they seal the hold what? That silver, that, that silver is, is, that silver is produce. With the hava tiva, and, and, and what? And gold, silver, uh, silver is the produce, and gold is the money. And therefore, what? And therefore, you can definitely redeem silver, which is produce, onto gold, which is money. That was the argument. But of course, everyone will not. Of course, everyone will agree that if you want to put to put payer, to put produce or, or pro- produce onto silver, everybody agrees you could do that. That's no problem whatsoever. Okay, my time is even. Why is it? Why should they agree? Because it's like money for base silo. Kessel for base silo when it comes to silver. Silver for base silo. Silver for base silo. I forgot the castle of Gabi Dabba Pira Habi. Even though base silo holds that silver vis a vis gold is really produce, you can't have it here. But what? But for sure, since told me that he originally translated it onto the silver Gabi Pira Tibabi, it's for sure the mission itself, or even base silo, how what that it worked. And that would redeem the original produce of the silver, even though the silver was produce vis a vis the gold. The silver was, was, was money vis a vis the produce. Same thing. So gold also, Beishamay, even though Beishamay holds what? Even though what he holds, gold is what? Is, 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 is gold is, uh, is, is, is produce. Even though he holds gold is, is, is produce vis-a-vis silver. When it comes to, when it comes to produce, even Beishamay will admit that what? That gold is produce.